attention, please. We're now ready to announce the results of the sixth ballot for president. Mr. Secretary, is the computer ready? Please put the results on the screen, please. Bob Barr, 324 votes. Mary Ruer, 276 votes. Nota, four votes. The 2008 Libertarian Party nominee for President of the United States is Bob Barr. One of the most pleasurable pastimes that I've had the honor of being involved in over the last two years is working with the finest political leader in the United States of America, Bill Redpath. And man, does he have his work cut out for him now. <laughs> My only question for you all is, actually it's not a question, it's a request. You all party today. We still have some work to do to select our vice presidential nominee. And then I hope we all celebrate, because I'm sure that we will emerge here with the strongest ticket in the history of the Libertarian Party. And then I want everybody to remember that we have only 163 days to win this election. Do not waste one single day. It has been a tremendous honor to have served the last two years as the Region 4 representative on the Libertarian National Committee. And one of the reasons that it has been such a tremendous honor and a pleasure in addition to serving with the LNC under Bill Redpath's leadership, is to work side by side, shoulder by shoulder, with the current Region 4 representative, Stuart Flood of the great state, sister state of South Carolina. Stuart, thank you. As I mentioned earlier today, there have been few things in life, in my life, that have been a greater honor and a greater pleasure than, have, than to have served last evening and participated last evening in the debate. Every one of those men and women, including Mary Ruard, who we just heard from, who is a dynamic, great, continuing leader of the Libertarian Party. represent one of the finest groups of political leaders that we have in America today. And I look forward to continuing to working with every single one of them, not just through this campaign, but in the many years ahead. And I wouldn't be surprised if we might see a couple of them in a bar administration cabinet, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Now, many of you all have commented to me over the years that I am very tall and handsome, <laughs> just like my son Derek here. Many of you all have had the opportunity to meet Derek, who's been working with us these past several days and has a tremendous future ahead of him, and he is looking forward to putting all of his energy, as everybody in this room is, in the months and well, the months ahead and the days ahead, 163 days. I want to keep reminding everybody, including myself, of that. But I'd like to thank Derek for the tremendous work that he's put in and for the tremendous work that he's going to put in, like me, in behalf of the Libertarian Party and the Libertarian ticket. And I do hope that you all will take the opportunity Today and tomorrow, we'll be here tomorrow for the continuation and conclusion of the activities of the convention and the LNC meeting to get to know the next First Lady of the United States, Jerry Barr. I 
I'd like to very briefly, because I know we want to take a break and then move on to the very important business of selecting our vice presidential nominee, but I would like to take the opportunity to thank the tremendous campaign staff and our volunteers who have worked under the leadership of Russ Bernie, our campaign manager. And the one thing that they have told me that I echo to you today is what a pleasure it has been working with the other campaign staffs and the volunteer staffs of all of the fine candidates that we have had for this nomination. Russ has worked and will work. He has tremendous experience running national campaigns, and he has tremendous experience running campaigns for third parties. The only difference this time is he's not running a campaign for a nominee of a third party, but a campaign for a nominee of the first party of the United States, and that is the Libertarian Party. You heard earlier today, as I was honored to hear earlier today, from three of your colleagues, three of your workers, three of your party leaders who honored me with their nominating and seconding speeches today. And I'd like you to once again thank them, not so much for just nominating and seconding me, that's irrelevant, but for the tremendous work that they put in, have put in, and will continue to put in in behalf of this party. Now, as you have heard during the earlier vote counts from the state of Georgia, of course, you all know it as the largest state east of the Mississippi. You may know it as the Peach State. However you know it, Georgia, the great state of Georgia, is currently under the leadership for our Libertarian Party and will continue to be so because of the tremendous dynamic leadership of our state chairman, Daniel Adams. Daniel, thank you. The man that I, I dare say, I don't, I'm not sure that there's anybody here that has more energy than Wayne Allen Root, but if there is... It's Steve Gordon. Steve, thank you. This is just a small part of the campaign team that will be continuing to work. And I don't say just for this campaign. This is very important for these next several months. But for the Libertarian Party, the Libertarian Movement, and the cause of liberty in the United States of America. I'm honored to have their support and to have them working alongside me on behalf of this great party. This team, this candidate, will not let you down. This will be an historic and positive campaign that will... that will succeed. We are not in this race to make a point although a very important point will be made. We are not in this race just to send a message, although a very important message will be sent. This is a campaign that will win, but we need your help to do so. I don't know, where's, uh, where's Shane Corey? Uh, Shane, uh, Shane was around here. Shane, come on up here. Shane Corey has served as the executive director of the Libertarian National Committee, the Libertarian National Party, and has been a tremendous presence on behalf of this party for years, and particularly during this convention. And I thank him and his family for what they have given and what they will continue to sacrifice on behalf of the Libertarian Party. Shane, thank you. Thank you. There's just one other gentleman I'd like you to say hi to. He's the man in black. Martin Avila. Martin, come on up here. Terry Clips. Martin, thank you. And let me again say what a tremendous honor it is to have stood before you as a candidate, to have worked with you as a member of the LNC, and to now stand before you honored as your nominee 
for the office of President of the United States of America. It is a position that I take not lightly, but with tremendous humility and with a sense, as every one of these other candidates has presented to you, of the deepest commitment now and in the future for the Libertarian Party, what it stands for, and what each of you have sacrificed and will continue to sacrifice for it, and I at your side. Thank you very much. 163 days. Let's get working. Let's go.